Hey guys, welcome to Fuzzy's Taco Talk for tonight. I'm with head softball coach Christy Fox. We're going to ask her a couple questions um, about the season and, and just some upcoming stuff. Um, also, just to let everybody know, if you have any questions that you would like to ask Coach Fox, you can do so after I ask the questions I have for her. So feel free to stand up and um, ask any appropriate Players questions. Players don't get to ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so Coach, first to start off, what is your favorite uh, item on the Fuzzies menu? Ooh, um, I really like their breakfast burritos. Yeah, they're pretty good. Do you have a specific type you like? Um, I like the bacon one. I don't get too crazy. Okay, okay. So what has been the team's main focus for conference play so far? Have you guys been focusing more on defense or offense? Um, I think from last year, our big concern was working on our offense, um, but defense is just such an important part of the game that we've kind of had to go back to our roots and focus on um, making the plays that they give us. This conference is really tough, and so you know any mistake automatically turns into a run, so we've kind of got back to our roots and really focused on our defense. So it's been announced earlier this, this year that you guys are going to have new additions added to the Allen Sachs field. Uh, that's going to be ready at the start of the 2015 season. It's going to include a new locker room and uh, new training facilities that are apparently world class. So how excited are you about that and what kind of impact do you think it'll bring to the team with things such as recruiting? You know, it's already done so much for us in terms of recruiting, um, just the pictures alone. So I think actually having a physical building there mm -hmm. is just going to really uh, show the future student athletes that, you know, um, UTA is really committed to softball. And so, um, you know, I think it'll be nice for our girls to have a home base to come to between classes and kind of have a place to call their own. Mm -hmm. um, so for the 2014 season, you guys have no longer been charging admission to get into games. What is your philosophy on this decision? You know, we just really wanted to reach out to the community and um, try to create a fan base, not only with the students, but, you know, the neighborhood girls that play our sport. I just think that softball is such a great sport because, you know, after every single game, you can go right up to the players and ask them questions and be really involved and have a really great relationship with these great athletes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we just wanted to get out in, into the community and have a better fan base come out and support us. You know, we really care about this school and we think UT Arlington's so great. Um, you know, we look forward to having everyone come out and watch us play. So you only have one senior on the season this year and it's Callie Collins, one of your starting pitchers. Um, she's already gotten the accolade of Sunbelt uh, Pitcher of the Week earlier in the season. What has been her main role on the season so far this year? You know, Callie had to take on uh, the role as being one of our main pitchers this year. She's done a really good job, um, you know, competing at a high level, um, helping us with the transition from not only the Southland to the WAC, but the WAC to, or the Southland to the WAC to the Sun Belt. She's really helped us along with that. And I think that she's just done a really good job of being an example in terms of, you know, academics and how to balance your time management. And, you know, she's that connection um, for us from our past moving forward into our future. This is going to be a very busy week for you guys. You have a midweek game tomorrow on the road at Abilene Christian. And then you come back and you host a series this weekend against Troy. And then you also have the alumni, softball alumni game on Sunday. What kind of preparation goes into a busy week like this? And also, what are your expectations uh, with the teams you're going to play this week? You know, when you have a busy week like this, it's all about just kind of maintaining um, your skill and build some confidence. Like today, we played over the line, um, get our competitive juices going, and um, just have some fun and get our minds right. Uh, you know, we didn't play well against ACU last time, so I think the girls are really excited to get another shot at, um, at them at their home place. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we did do well against Troy last year, but it's a whole new ball game, and I know that they're going through their bumps as well into the Sun Belt. So this this is going to be a really good weekend for us to go and compete and, um, you know, get some wins in our conference. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. Does anybody have any questions out in the audience that you would like to ask, Coach? If, <laughs> if that's not the case, we actually do have a couple that uh, have been submitted through our Twitter. So some of our fans want to know. Um, you played at such a high level at Arizona in college. What is your coaching philosophy to bring to UTA, bring UTA to the next level? 
Um, you know, I think that um, playing at Arizona and playing for Coach Candrea really helped me understand um, that every player is different and every player needs um, different things to be successful. Um, but one thing that never changes is that you set your expectations high and you have these high standards that the girls can strive to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what has the competition in the Sun Belt been like so far, and how have you pre prepared for it? Um, you know, it's been difficult. We've definitely taken our bumps um, and bruises, but I think that the one thing the Sun Belt has that um, is top notch is their pitching. Um, every team has some very strong pitchers that you know have some great ERAs, and uh, you know we're still in the process of getting our swings where we want them to be. So. Um, you know, we've been focusing on somebody trying to get that big hit. Um, we've, we've left so many runners on base and we've had so many opportunities. So, you know, just having that per person be clutch and really that comes down to confidence. So this week's really been about confidence. Okay. Um, so I got to ask, what has been your most memorable game as a head coach? But if you don't have one in general, you can talk about this season. If there's been a, a favorite series or a game. I think that so far for me personally, since I'm a San Diego girl, uh, that when we beat San Diego State at their home field against yeah. a coach that, you know, um, recruited me and then I applied for a job there and things like that, um, me being a head coach and going to their field and beating them, that was pretty memorable for me. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. And no questions out there? Is that it for Coach? All right, everybody, let's give Coach a hand. Next up, I'm going to ask Megan Michelle to the stage. Megan, if you don't mind coming up here. So Megan is a junior from Grand Prairie, Texas. This is her third season on the UTA squad. And Megan is the starting third baseman. Welcome, Megan. Hi. So you came in here as a freshman, so three seasons ago. This will be your third season. When you got here, you guys were in the Southland Conference. Mm -hmm. Last year, we switched into the WAC. And then, obviously, this year, we're with the Sun Belt. What has been the biggest difference you've seen from the Sun Belt Conference to the previous two? Um, the Sun Belt is definitely the most competitive that we've had. You know, um, I feel like each year, that we that I've been here like the competition has just risen and the Sun Belt is definitely the most competitive that I've ever been in and um, which is good because it makes us you know that much better and uh, makes us want to strive for success more and um, but yeah the competitiveness is is really big so. Um, so I mentioned earlier you only have one senior on the season or on the team this season Callie but you're the second in line for the most experience on the UTA squad because Nina is a transfer. So what would you say your leadership role is here on the UTA team because you're second in line for experience? You know, I have been here, you know, all three years, and I kind of know, like, how things go and how things, you know, are supposed to work. And, you know, it's my second year under Coach Fox, so I kind of know, like, what her mentality is and, like, what, you know, how she wants things done. So I think a lot of, you know, our players come up to me for advice and come up to me on, like, their hitting and stuff. And I, I'm a good person to go to for, like, you know, advice and, like, encouragement. And um, I feel like... <laughs> yeah. Um, so what is it going to be like to um, have the new facilities y'all are bringing in for the 2015 season? For your senior season, you're going to uh, have that brand new locker room and brand new training facilities. What is that going to be like having it for your last year? Man, it's going to be awesome. Like each year we've had something new. Like going into my junior year we or sophomore year, we got that indoor facility. Like it's mm -hmm. Being from my freshman year to now, like all the improvements that I'm seeing is like amazing, mm -hmm. and getting to experience, you know, a new field, a new clubhouse, my senior year, like it's unbelievable, and I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really happy that I get to experience one year under it, and it's going to bring a lot of good recruits here, and I'm just really excited to, you know, start something, you know, be the um, foundation for UTA, and you know. Um, I'm really excited. So. Yeah, it'll be a nice way to go yeah, out, huh? For sure. Okay, so the Mavericks play tomorrow at Abilene Christian. Like I said earlier, it starts at 6 p.m. They're going to be on the road. Um, and then they will be playing this weekend um, at the Allen Sachs Field uh, against Troy. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Megan, thank you so much. What is it? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Sorry, doubleheader on Saturday? Doubleheader on Saturday. 
Um, thank you, Megan, for being up here. And thank you, guys. Do you have any questions for Megan? Anything anybody wants to ask? Players, you are more than welcome to ask her. No. No? <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Megan. Just so you guys know, Fuzzies is now taking over the softball and baseball fields concession stands. Now you can enjoy your, fa your ballpark favorites, including nachos, tacos, and burritos while watching your Mavericks. Thank you guys for coming out. And for uh, Coach Fox and M Megan, thank you guys for being up here and for being interviewed. So you guys enjoy your tacos, and thank you again. <laughs>